Hey, what is going on, pros and presses? Mr. Lyman HD here, and welcome to another drinks review. Today, we're reviewing Luke Zade's new watermelon and strawberry cooler. So, I got this particular bottle out of a random corner shop, and it cost me price marked £1.09 or two for two of a grand saving of 9p or 18p if you're technically buying two, but you're saving 18p. Yeah. Uh, so, I'll give you guys a full 360 of the bottle. So, we have a Kind of usual kind of LucasAid design. We've got the usual, you know, LucasAid lo uh, logo and stuff. Uh, obviously, top of the can is red to represent strawberry, and the bottom of the can is green to represent watermelon. On the bottom, we have nothing, and on the top, we have a fairly big cap, as most LucasAids are, and the cap is red, and the shape of the bottle kind of goes out, in, out, kind of again, the usual LucasAid bottle design, so you know, a nice, good grip as always. So, having a look at the back of the uh, bottle, so. Powered by glucose, sugar. Take charge, look forward, and believe you can make a difference to your day, whatever you do. Do it with positive energy, enjoy it cold. Sparkling watermelon and strawberry flavour with sugar and sweeteners. Ooh -hoo -hoo. So LucasAids are normally to be known to be full of sugar, as a lot of them are. Sugar content is 4.2 grams per 100 ml, so to be fair, that's actually half of what kind of original LucasAid used to be, which should probably, you know, 10 grams plus. So, yes, it's half sugar and a total bottle. It's one of those weird 380ml bottles. It's not the 500ml bottle. It's, it's that kind of weird small grab-and-go bottle. And um, the total bottle contains 16.1 grams. So, not too bad, really, you know, considering it's LucasAid. And are these sweeteners aspartame? We have, oh dear, yes, it contains aspartame and a of MK. It contains 8.1 grams of glucose based chi per 100 grams and 30.8 grams per 380ml bottle. Uh, not suitable for children under 3 years. And if you didn't know, Lucasate is owned by Ribena. I'm not sure who Ribena is owned by and vice versa. Um, apart from that, nothing else on the bottle. It's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully it will not explode over me. So... You guys know I have a bad history of melon drinks slash watermelon drinks. The original LucasAid watermelon, I or sorry, melon, I threw across the room because it was that disgusting. Rubicon's uh, melon drink, watermelon drink, was so bad I, I almost threw up. And just general watermelon drinks in general are just disgusting and bad and should be banned. The only watermelon drink I don't mind is Tango's new... Uh, Tango's new watermelon and something because it's got such minimal watermelon in it, it actually all right. And the Rockstars, uh, what's it? Rockstars, I think Killer Cooler had a bit of watermelon in it, and it was, you know, <laughs> all right for watermelon on my terms. So I'm hoping this isn't going to be disgusting. Um, but it's, it's got strawberry in it, so I'm hoping it will be good. In terms of the cooler part to it, I really don't know what the cooler part is. Um, to me, it's just watermelon and strawberry drink so anyways hopefully it doesn't explode over me cough blimey who the hell's done that up i think i've done that up over tight so it didn't leak i just hope it doesn't stink of watermelon either don't explode there we go so i know we can see the color down there but i said i've still got a cup just to um just to see a bit clearer please please don't smell a watermelon please don't smell a watermelon So the colour is indeed red, uh, maybe a tad on the lighter side, and it is see-through, and not too many bubbles, which I prefer, I prefer generally lightly carbonated drinks rather than, you know, full-on fizz like Coke or something, um, and a few bubbles on the top, not too bad. Now the smell, what does it smell of? Oh, oh, that stinks, oh my god, it stinks of that horrible, rancid, disgusting watermelon smell. Which I absolutely hate, guys. Oh, it smells... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, guys, I really hate watermelon drinks. Oh, Jesus. There's a minimal hint. There's minimal hint of strawberry in there. But it has that just rancid watermelon smell. Oh, Jesus. But if you like, if you like watermelon, then it smells of watermelon. Great. Right, anyway, guys. Let's taste some. Oh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, for the viewers. Mm. 
Ugh. I, I, I always feel sick when I drink watermelon drinks. I, I, I just... Ugh. Ugh. Okay, guys. So, to be fair, you get a quite nice strawberry flavour at the beginning. Like, there's a decent strawberry flavour at the beginning. Don't get me wrong. But then... The watermelon kicks in, and oh boy, is that bad. It, you get, the strawberry just disappears, and then you get a warmth of disgusting, okay, if you like watermelon, then you'll like this drink. This is my personal opinion. And I don't know many people that like watermelon drinks either, to be fair with you, watermelon drinks. You know, I don't really know any of my mates which actively like watermelon drinks, to be honest. But if you like watermelon, then you'll like the drink. Great. But... You get the strawberry at the beginning, which is nice. If it was strawberry on its own, then it'd be lovely. I think they'd probably do a strawberry Lucas Egg before or somewhere. I can't remember, but um, strawberry on its own would be really nice. But uh, then that watermelon kicks in after, and you just get that horrible like garden taste of watermelon. It just tastes absolutely just... Ugh, my, st my stomach is just... Ugh, I, I really can't handle watermelon. Oh, it's just horrible. And the aftertaste is that horrible, just garden watermelon taste. I don't know how to describe it to you guys. If you like watermelon, then you'll like it. But if, if you don't, if you ever ate watermelon on its own, or well, just the, the smell is just bad enough. I, I don't, I don't understand why it is so disgusting, in my opinion. Oh, jeez. In terms of the cooler part, again, I really don't know what, what that is, but... Okay, enough saying the watermelon's bad. In terms of sweetness, it's it's probably about the white sweetness, actually. Even for the sugar that's in it, I'd say it's definitely not as sweet as what sugar's inside it. I'd, I'd probably almost say it's probably a sugar-free one, to be honest with you. It's really not that sweet at all. Uh, the strawberry's a little bit sweet at the beginning, and then you get that horrible non-sweet watermelon taste uh, uh, after that. So the sugar really doesn't do the watermelon any justice. Like it doesn't balance out the watermelon at all because watermelon is so overpowering and bad. Um, I mean, it's not as bad as I want to chuck the bottle across the room like I did with the original LucasAid Pure Melon. Um, but the strawberry kind of dilutes it a little bit. But like I said, guys, you got strawberry at the beginning, which is nice, and then you just get that super overpowering watermelon, which just tastes disgusting. But like I said, guys, if you like watermelon drinks. And if you like strawberry drinks, then you'll like this. You've got a nice strawberry with watermelon at the end. But my personal opinion, guys, I don't like watermelon drinks. I don't like melon drinks when they're like this. You know, the other two I mentioned were okay. But in terms of these, when the watermelon is really noticeable and really overpowering and really taste of garden and, you know, just plants, then just, no, I'm sorry. So for me, personally, it gets a double thumbs down. But for you guys that might like the watermelon, it gets a thumbs up for you guys. But there we are. I can't like all the drinks. But that, the rest of that's going straight down the drain. Even the plants don't deserve that. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you all later.